What's up guys, back in my shop today. We're gonna read some plans and build a birdhouse. Let's do this. Okay, birdhouse is something I do with all of my students. Uh, if you're a first year student of mine, you're probably going to be building a birdhouse. These are the plans that I use for the birdhouse. Very simple, right? And today we're gonna walk through each of these. I'm gonna make a cut list. I'm going to uh, build the birdhouse and assemble it today. Shouldn't take me super long. You'll see some sweet time lapses and we're gonna get right into business. Let's do it. So right now I'm just gathering some materials before I go. I'm gonna make sure I got my glue. In the plan it says outdoor wood glue, type on two will do just fine. It says I also need one fence plank. Easy, simple, breezy, cover girl. I'm actually up. There's a plank, fence plank, perfect. This is some Douglas fir, but it's not technically cedar, but that's okay. One fence plank. This says I should use long finishing nails. I do have some of those, but I'm actually going to use something a little bit different. And I'm going to use my handy finish nail gun. It'll be pretty easy. I also need a dowel, but I don't think I have those. So I'll have to get that a little bit later, but it's okay. We can figure it out. A couple other things I'm gonna need to make this hole. It's one and a half inch diameter. So I'll need a drill and a spade bit. Back to this room. We are, we got some spades. I'll need a drill back in my office. I need a tape measure. And I also need some sort of marker. I'll grab a tri square just to give me a little bit of marker. I have my safety glasses on my head. Let's go and grab the drill. We're not going to be doing any sort of, I guess, big or uh, like screws or anything like that. So I don't need anything too crazy. Last but very not least, I forgot it, a tape measure. Now I know that aluminum square or speed square would do the job just fine, but Having a tape measure is pretty important. Okay. So I'm gonna follow the plans pretty much to a T. And once I measure out, I'll show you guys making the cuts, doing the measuring, that sort of thing. First step, I need to measure the side panels. I need to make two side panels. They're five and a half by six inches in length. So I don't think this is exactly five and a half inches wide. It might be. So it's not, it's a little bit less than five and a half inches. It's definitely shrunk a little bit, but no need to worry. We'll be able to figure out uh, this sort of thing a little bit easier. You can see here in the other measurement, this is also supposed to be five and a half. We're gonna leave it like this. The only thing this will change is the center piece that goes right here. But even on this one, it says I have to mark and make that cut because even in the plans, they realize that this stuff may change. So that's kind of nice. So we're going to measure two side panels. We're going to measure a front and back piece and then I'll break and talk about it. Okay, here we go.
I have all this stuff cut out, now is a time where I have to kind of figure out how I'm going to handle layout. You kind of saw on this one right here what I had to do. So if we look at the first page of the plans, it says that the center hole is four and a half inches up and five and a half across. So it has to be in the middle of that. So when I measured, it was actually two and three quarters of an inch across, and then of course four and a half up. So that got me the center point there. Okay, the same thing with this one. Two and three fourths, and then it equals out to two inches from the top. That would be the small hole for the dowel. Beautiful, right? It's always important to label and pick out what side this is. So this is the side that's going to be facing out. This is the side it's going to be in. This would be front. This is back. Side. And side. Then I moved on to my roof pieces. My roof pieces were a bit challenging. Um, they're not really super challenging. The first one's pretty simple. You just cut a nine inch section of wood. So, the roof. This one, however, is four and three fourths. We are actually a hair off because we were a five and a quarter instead of five and a half. So we have to subtract one fourth to get the correct measurement. So instead of four and three fourths, it's actually going to be four and one half. So when we lay that out, we're going to cut four and a half. Okay. Now you're going to see a couple different things in this next time lapse. I am going to use the miter saw to cut out these angles. I'm going to drill the holes. I'm also going to use the table saw to trim this to fit. And then we're going to talk about assembly and how to assemble this thing the right way. Okay? Here's another time lapse. Let's do it. Let's talk assembly. So I like to take my front pieces and I like to stack up my sides in whatever particular way that I'm going to place them. So I gotta figure out what side I like the best. I'm gonna leave that little corner right there. Just to kind of stay in this situation, hold on. So, place them right there, and then I place my top piece on, like so. And I make it really matched up from the bottom. I will add glue, and I'll throw two nails in there, maybe even three nails, just to make everything a little bit nicer, a little bit easier. And then once I have all done, I'll flip it around and do the back piece, which I just remembered, I didn't cut the back piece out. So, we're going to assemble at least the front back. I'll pause, show you guys how I cut out the bottom piece, and then we'll get the whole thing ready to go again. And now it's time to build from the bottom of the pit right to the top. Don't hold back. Packing my bags and giving the academy. Okay, I made a couple mistakes, but that's okay. We're gonna talk about them right now. We're gonna talk about what our next steps are. So, instead of placing this this way, like it should go, it's placed long ways. So there's a little bit of a gap right there. So when I place the 
board over, there's going to be a slight gap. It's actually okay. I mean, it's definitely not as appealing or how's the plans go, but um, what I could do is I could take this and cut a 45 um, and take down this roof and make it a little bit shorter and longer. Uh, but I think I'm just gonna leave it like this with the with the, the little extra gap that allows for a little bit of airflow and if uh, some bird does want to make this their home, I think it makes it a little bit more appealing. Uh, it does keep out the water, but adds a little bit more flow uh, for the house. So we're gonna leave it, call it a design choice, but that was an error on my part for not checking and making sure that either was flipped. But those happen, but this is how we overcome from that. So first thing we need to do is we need to measure out the floor. So what I do is I stick this thing right, right there, right where there's a little bit of play still. You can still see a little bit of light. And I will take my marker. I'm just gonna mark a line around. There. So I need to X out this, X out this, and make that cut, and then go to the table saw and make that cut. Then I will attach the roof, and that will be it for this little birdhouse. So let's get a little montage, let's finish this thing up. A nice, classy birdhouse. It does need to be sanded a little bit, just to kind of remove some of these letterings and these um, sort of rough edges. But uh, that is a pretty solid birdhouse, all from one plank of wood. You could get a little fancy, and if you would like, you can chop off uh, this little bill and add like a little deck to that birdhouse. Some some students like to go like this and do like a really big deck. Um, that doesn't look too solid. So that you can do a lot of different things. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little project. Maybe we should do this for uh, another one. Let's do another project. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.